are the Paleo-Americans? Who were the Paleo-Americans? The Paleo-Americans were blacks or Negroes. Black anatomically modern humans have been found in the Americas for over 100,000 years. Evidence of these Paleo-Americans have been found in Brazil and California. Neither genetic evidence nor craniometrics deny the existence of black Native Americans. The Native Americans were called Indians because they were black-skinned like the natives of South India. Quadravichs noted the numerous American tribes that were Negro Native Americans. Craniometric quantitative analysis and multivariate methods have determined the Native American populations. This research indicated that the ancient Americans represent two populations, Paleo-Americans who were phenotypically African, Australian, or Melanesian and a Mongoloid population that appears to have arrived in the Americas after 6000 BC. Dr. Chatters discovered the Naya skeleton of Mexico. Mohi Kumar wrote the skull of Naya on the floor of Hoyo Negro, as it appeared in December 2011, having rolled into a near upright position. Hold that shit, baby. But therein lies a puzzle. Modern Native Americans closely resemble people of China, Korea, and Japan, but the oldest American skeletons do not, says archaeologist and paleontologist James Chatters, lead author on the study and the owner of Applied Paleoscience, a research consulting service based in Bothell, Washington. Researchers have found several ancient Paleo-American skeletons. Using these skeletons archaeologists have been able to reconstruct these prehistoric people. These reconstructions include Luzia, Kennewick Man, and Nea to name a few. The small number of early American specimens discovered so far have smaller and shorter faces and longer and narrower skulls than later Native Americans, more closely resembling the modern people of Africa, Australia, and the South Pacific. This has led to speculation that perhaps the first Americans and Native Americans came from different homelands, Chatters continues, or migrated from Asia at different stages in their evolution. The determination of the Paleo-Americans as members of the black variety is not a new phenomenon. Howells using multivariate analyses, determined that the Easter Island population was characterized as Australo-Melanesian, while other skeletons from South America were found to be related to Africans and Australians. The African Australo-Melanesian morphology was widespread in North and South America. For example skeletal remains belonging to the black variety have been found in Brazil, Colombian Highlands Florida, and Southern Patagonia. The bioanthropologist Walter Navis's reconstruction of the first Americans evidenced Negroid features for the Paleo-American we call Luzia. What made this finding startling was that Navis using the Magnolinovus distance and principal component analysis, found that 75 other skulls from Lago Santa, were also phenotypically African or Australian. People should stop trying to claim there were no blacks in America before 1492. Blacks have been in America 94,000 years according to Dr. Nida Guyton before the Mongoloid Native Americans found in America today arrived in the United States 6,000 years ago. Dr. Nida Guyton claims that Africans were in Brazil 100,000 years ago. The evidence that fire existed in Brazil 65 Kia is an indication that man was at the site 65,000 years ago, since researchers found charcoal, which is the result of fire making. In conclusion, we don't have to depend on just paintings to acknowledge the Negro slash African presence in America before 1492, we also have the facial reconstructions of Paleo-Americans that have resulted from craniometrics that show these people were blacks.